Greeting! My name is Joe Bob, and I am Mary P. Welcome back to, well, Guess. Anyways, I did a bit of looting off camera until I finally got a letter, which I didn't haven't actually read yet. Hopefully it actually is something. Katarina's unexpected invitation. Uh, what was her voice? I beg you, believe what I say. These recent events are monstrous. My hands tremble so much I can hardly write. She is here again. Come to the rod, please. I need you. Alrighty then. That sounds like something important, alright. Why do you... Why is he... Why is some random fucking Taylor selling rifle ammo? <laughs> That's new. That's very new. I'll take it. Yo. I need morphine. There you are, Bachelor. I've been waiting for you. Waiting to reveal to you. Nobody else knows this secret, and I'd never tell them. Who else could I reveal it to but you, the man that only came here for its sake? Yes, yes, get on with it! You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who I am talking about. Again, your words make no sense, just like when we met for the first time. Simon is alive. Just saw him suddenly appear at the crucible. I sense him, you know. I can't ignore it. I woke up. But the feelings refuse to let go of me. He's there. He's still there. It was all a lie, an illusion. Ruben will back up my words. Well... Okay, Simon being alive is entirely plausible. Uh, unlike, uh, I mean, doesn't seem likely, considering all the love about it. But <laughs> possible, considering, well, it's Simon. He, uh, he apparently has lived for centuries and survived all sorts of weird crap, so... <laughs> I don't know, uh, so maybe, but... But yeah, it's, but it was once revealed to me in a dream is not exactly a good argument. <laughs> Anyways, why Reuben? Reuben must tell the truth. He never lies if you make him swear on his master's name. Well, lying and telling the truth uh, and like not lying and telling the truth are two different things. He will tell you, then, that he never dissected the body. Si- oh, that doesn't- Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's- that his son is not dead, but that would be quite... odd. Considering. Simon is at the Crucible. It was all an illusion, a deception. Why would someone arrange that as that? You can say you say you can feel his presence, but if Simon is alive, why weren't you feeling it all this time? Surely he couldn't have risen from the dead. I do not know myself. Oh, that's convenient. I would never mislead you. Why would I? We, the Sabarovs, are done for. We were the first to suffer Clara's punishing hand. Whoever wins, we shall never again rise from the ashes. And still I say to you, he is there. This is for you. Simon is, to a certain extent, a concept. That much I have concluded by now. Seems your words can be taken very much as an allegory. No! No! That's exactly why the canes are so abhorrent. Any fantasy that only has the right to exist in the realm of dreams, they give substance. It's as if they're bringing all those illusions, all the vastness available to the human imagination, into this world. What are the, uh, what is this, red science? So, what's so important about that? Is there praise, worship even, if that is actually true? 
Oh yes, look around and see the fruits of that worship. No, they have no place on this earth. I speak as the protector of the weak. I speak on their behalf. When those such as them begin to create, the weak are always the first to suffer. Everything the canes do is a challenge, and challenges are for the strong. How are the rest of us supposed to live? <laughs> you speak on behalf of puppets. Let, let the weak become strong, then. There's no compassion in you. So ruthless. How can you be so? Even Burke, that dreadful ripper, destined to drown us all in blood. Even he has more compassion for people than you. <sighs> protecting, the, protecting the weak is not something born of compassion. It's, born, it's something born of contempt. What do you want from me, Katarina? I beg you on my knees. Go to him. See for yourself that he's alive. And let the Inquisitor rend the canes to pieces. Aglaia will be happy, because the only good thing in her is her hatred of the canes. That's so, all. I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Oh, how generously shall she. Oh, how generously shall she reward you for the news, for exposing the villains on the eve of everyone's doom. A truly heroic deed. So why won't you do it? I ask for so little. Katarina, I no longer trust you, and the hate that you are evidently full of disgusts me. Ubin is the only one who knows the actual fate that befell Seven Cain. He must tell me the truth. One can only hope. According to Katarina, Simon Cain has returned to the Crucible. She swears that she can feel his presence. How is this even possible? Did she transport herself completely into the world of our chimeras? Only Ruben can answer that. He was the last person to see Simon alive. Was he? Well, he was the last person to see his body, at the very least. Oh, joy, this again. Oh, you're kidding me. Another one? You're back. I'd rather not go looking for another hideout. They let me go. But it can't be. Yoki was supposed to put me to death. Why would he have put you to death? Why, blasphemy, of course. Or do you still not realize the fate that befell Simon? I don't. I feel like I'm missing something. Dear colleague, I stole the body from the Canes. The body that was sacred to them. With my own hands, I took Simon Kane's life. If that state could be called life, that is. Finally, the body itself, in which Georgi had some, uh, scientific interest. I evaporated it. What do you mean, evaporated? The positive information that he's alive. I turned him into the vaccine. I literally saturated the town with him. Maybe that's what's, that is what is being implied by your source, whose identity I could under, I could guess. He lives on in the heart of those for whom he gave his life. Didn't I explain it to your back then? <laughs> Four days ago. Do you still not understand? No, I don't understand any of this crap. You all are speaking in... You're all speaking in mysticism. Which is to... In a, which is to say utter nonsense. Katarina says that Simon is alive. Well, Katarina is. That Clara did something to her. Took her power and her crown as a mistress. Are you certain that she said that? It's impossible. I broke Simon down into tiny particles with my own hands and turned him into the white vaccine. How are, how are you certain that the man whose body you took was Simon Kane? Hang on. Hang on just one second. Wasn't... Wasn't Georgi... His twin bro... His twin? What? Weren't he and... Weren't Georgi and Simon twins?
Wait a minute. Yeah. Georgie and Simon were twins. Which doesn't quite follow, considering the Simon supposedly lived for centuries, but... Does that mean... Hang on a second. I'm beginning to develop a puzzle theory. You think his greatness, his noble visage, is comparable to his brother or anyone else? Well, they were supposedly twins. I don't know if that means identical twins, but... After all, if it wasn't his superhuman blood, who else could fight the disease for so long and almost beat it, even if at the cost of lethargy? Who? Can you tell me? Understand that in all my time here, I have never, not even once, seen Simon. The only man I hope to meet here. Yeah, uh, got a move. I've never saw him alive, never saw him dead. What do you expect me to believe? Fine. Ask at the Crucible. Since they let me go, they clearly don't think of me as a mur either a murderer or as a blasphemer. Let them explain where Simon is. I've said all I can. By the name of your master, Reuben, answer me. Did you tell the truth? It's all true. I broke Simon down into particles. Anything that couldn't be used to make the vaccine, I burned. There is no mistake. Can't you see? Only that wondrous organism could produce the white vaccine. The one that's still keeping hundreds of people alive. I give you my word. Very well. I have to clear the crucible once again, just as nine days ago, when your master directed me there. So which of the three houses is Simon's? I should probably check them all, but I'll start at Maria's. I have a feeling she may prepare me for what I'm about to see in the other two. Yeah, that's a good question. Each of these is like a mansion of one of the three canes, but there's four canes. Wait a minute. That doesn't make sense, though. Because uh, Simon supposedly lived for centuries or whatever. He was immortal. So unless Georgi Kane was the same, how could they be twins? Unless they were merely twins in the, s in the sense that they were identical. That would mean they were doppelgangers and twins, but I don't know if they... This is melting my brain. Was Simon Kane even real? I asked that question... In the first... In the first day or two. In the first few days. I asked that question of, of Victor. And he claimed that yes, he was, but... I didn't ask if Georgi was real, though. I didn't think to ask that. Why would I? My goodness. For the first time in quite a while, I think I am making... I think I'm genuinely in progress in figuring out what the fuck happened. What the fuck is happening, even. There's definitely, definitely something fucky to do with your Yi Kane. No doubt about it. Did I get a letter? Mark Immortel's invitation. There's a particular, a peculiar incident I'd like to tell you about. I'm not exactly sure whether or not it was in any way connected to recent events. Regardless, its consequences are dire. Besides, I need your advice. Please find a moment to attend my spectacular assembly. This time as my personal guest, not as a part of the audience. Respectfully, Mark Immortel, the impresario of freaks. Well, that would have been good to hear before I walked all the way down the wall. Or whatever. I'm right near it, so could be worse. Ah, fuck. What? 
I'm not certain how I didn't get hit by that, but all right, I'm not complaining. All right then, let's see if you'll, for once in your fucking life, actually have something useful to tell me. Hey, Mark. There is great ability in knowing how to conceal one's ability. To have my sincerest gratitude for finding an opportunity to pay a visit to a poor actor. But tell me, what do you make of the things you've witnessed recently? What is your impression? I'm referring to the few hours that we haven't seen each other. The impression is all over the place, to be blunt. <clears throat> I wholeheartedly agree. It's turning into a bedlam, wouldn't you agree? I can feel it here all too well. Still can't get used to the piquancy of the whole ordeal. See for yourself. I've been thinking about leaving this place of the dead for a while now. But I get the feeling that this is exactly the place for me to fulfill my part. Why did you want to see me? Uh. Uh. To confirm your sharpest observation, actually. I've got competition now, as you can see. The lowest kind of it, I suppose. I am no tragedian myself. I'm rather a comedian. But this is a most grotesque and insane parody. And who is the competition? Some mob is trying to act out a... I'm not sure what to call it. It's not really a performance. Well, they're trying to act out a living image of something by the bone stake. Though I'm not sure living is the best word. The centerpiece is a dying creature, after all. Are they planning to lynch someone there once again? I don't know. I only have the executor's sardonic re reports at the moment. I wouldn't have bothered you with this if not for the nasty smell coming from the just detestable farce. Because honestly... Who would really believe that it was my Epigone is doing? The mob thinks the heavenly portent, no less. Consider my curiosity peaked. I'll have a look when I get a chance. Hmm. Who's been giving me his word that Simon King no longer exists? I'm gonna make particle. A sacred sign was revealed to the people at the Bone Stake lot. Mark looks worried, but does not like him at all. I should go take a look. Where was the Bone Stake lot again? Alright, it's uh, this stuff. Okay. I'll swing by there after I sw go to the crucible. Yeah. Anything more to say? A man would rather say evil. No. Was that always broken? Oh, no, it's dead. Hmm. Were those always broken? No. Weird. Action. What happened in the bone steak lot? It's important. Did you say supportant? Or did you say important? I don't know. Actually, there was no reason for you to come to see me today, for I am a chrysalis. <laughs> Maria? Answer me, Maria. Are you aware that I've always been completely honest with you? I am. And Anil, you are a man of honor. Maria, tell me. Maria, have you always been frank with me? You are the only person I've been, always been frank with, And Anil. That's probably because out meeting was so strange, and we have spent too little time together. You're the only one I've always been honest with, and I will keep being honest with you, And Anil. I don't want to lie to you. Maria, tell me. Is it true that Simon is alive? Not quite. It's complicated, but you're not going to believe me anyway. It's a pity that you've come to know our family at this horrible time. None of us is in tune with their true nature these days. Hopefully you haven't yet talked to, haven't been to the right wing. The wing where my father used to live. What's going on with you all, Maria? Mysticism. I can only tell you that you should trust us, but if you would rather abandon us now and go over to the winner's side, then you should leave. Rather that watch us perish than watch us perish. Hmm. Katarina is preparing an attack on you. She will use the imaginary murder of Simon to claim that your family is who stands behind the plague. 
Our family is staring it in the face. The plague is an attack on us. It was us, not anyone else. We have become its main victims. You will see. Katarina already has. Which is why she's running rampant. She's already lost her power. She's transferred it to someone else. And I don't mean Kara. Katarina is also planning to seek the Inquisitor's support. And a trial for you. We are innocent before our town. Nobody has ever done so much for the people as we have. Just wait some more until I awaken, and I shall explain it to you. I trust you, but with those who want to see you fall, do likewise. Alright. Talk to my dear... to my father. Just don't be surprised by anything, and do not ask unnecessary questions. He's a bit out of it, but they can... He can offer good advice. Fine, I'll do just that. Uh. <clears throat> Alright, that would be, uh, the cocaine, right? If we conquer our passions, it is more from their weakness than from our strength. My consciousness hasn't completely returned to me yet. I can hardly imagine how much must have changed here since then. I need to ask you a question. Ask. I shall answer as clearly as I can. Do you know why ghosts always speak in riddles? It used to puzzle me. After all, I've never felt compelled to resort to allegory in order to draw conclusions from my visions. Now I know the answer. Their consciousness is fragmented. Is it true that Simon Kane is alive? Well, what do you call life? Hmm. Strange. Throughout my career, I've answered that question numerous times, but now I don't know what to tell you. Life. Hmm. That's actually a more difficult question than it sounds. Do you believe in the soul's immortality? No, not really. Do you know of that which we call memory? I think I have the basic idea. Why, then, did you ask me that question about Simon? Katarina was in a frenzy. She is convinced that Simon is at the crucible. Ah, so that's why. Tell me, did Katarina only talk about Simon, only him? And you say she was in a frenzy? Did she not notice the presence of another person at the Crucible, the very thought of whom should make the girl tremble? Who are you? You cannot know the answer to this question. Had my daughter not fallen in love with you, you wouldn't have been allowed to ask even the questions you've asked so far. Why have you come here, Bachelor Denkowski? I want to know the truth about Simon. So you want to know the truth about Simon. So be it. You will. The truth is that Georgi Kane, who so ardently desired eternal life for his brother, has committed himself in, t in entirety to Simon's memory. He is imbued completely with memories of him. That is what Katarina saw, but she is very sloppy with her visions. I think I'm beginning to understand. Maybe. Katarina starts spreading mem rumors of Simon's return, tell them Georgi has gone mad, that he imagines himself to be Simon, and Katarina is sensing those waves. Talk to Georgi, let her confirm his consent to being presented as a madman. You mean he must himself agree that I paint him as insane? Yes, go to him. Talking to him will open your eyes to the truth. You are a perceptive man after all. You are a perceptive man, after all. Help us. Such rumors would be very inopportune. And please accept some money. It will be of use in shutting up a few particularly big mouths. Mm. 
this is ah. I have no really have no idea how much has changed. The cost of shooting up mouths is is now several times greater. Seven thousand bucks. Yeah, it's something, I guess. Something strange is happening here. Story of this fucking game. <laughs> Everything I see in the crucible bears a trace of insanity. Victor says I should trust Georgie when he tells me of his own madness, but is it even remotely plausible that a madman would corroborate his own condition? Not at all. What is it then? Let me just hang on. Uh, Victor, I. <laughs> Forgive me for this in inappropriate laughter. I'm too unused to this. And I don't want to get used to it because this state will not continue for long. So you. What state? Do you know of that which we call memory? I'm not sure. Memory is the very fine particles of a person that exist between that which is the person and all that isn't. Some have the ability to collect those particles. For as long as people are able to retain the particles inside themselves, the person is not dead. They remain here, but their soul is not imprisoned. It flies off to where it's supposed to be. Okay. I want to know where Simon Kane is now. Let's see. Really talk to me. Okay then. That didn't tell me much more, but okay. Particles of a person. What the fuck? That didn't really help. I don't think, anyways. I'm not entirely certain. Hey, Georgi. That is your name. What? What do you want? I just want to talk to you and ask you for blessing in a certain difficult affair. Yes, you are exactly as I imagined, my boy. When Isidore described you to me, I knew that this is the way I would like my heir to be. Alas, I have never begotten one. I am not the first king to lack a son, and regrettably. Not the last. Uh, why? I think this is the price we pay for leaving too much life in our wake. Life that is lush, blooming, unpredictable, and unrestrained. The soul that could have belonged to our children is dissolved in our man-made legacy. Judge! There is a rumor in the town that Simon is alive and his supposed death was a ruse set by the Canes to disguise their involvement in this plague outbreak. The truth about Simon Kane is the kind of truth that may only be explained to those ready to accept it. In other words, nonsense. They want to know what happened to his body? Very well. Simon Kane was afflicted with the sand plague. His body has been torn into droplets and fibers. It is a it's a pity that we now cannot produce his remains before the non-believers. What are they to find comfort in now? I don't know. For some reason it seems to me that this changeling power can be of help here. Here is my final request. Tell the Inquisitor that Georgi Kane has gone insane, and that our family is in preparation for collective suicide. That should do. Perhaps she will even leave you alone for another day or two. But that's not true, is it? Not entirely true, but true enough to satisfy a vigorous mind like hers. Temporary lives will depart so that it, the eternal lives will be reborn. Go now, my boy. You are no mystic after all. Proudly. Farewell. I am glad that I did, in the end, have the chance to meet you. The madman is asking to inform the investigator of madness. Does he really believe that the investigator won't see through it? 
can only conclude that he is not pretending. <laughs> what? Georgi is free of any mental beat. However, this is not the same Georgi I knew. Something has changed. Is this some kind of game? Or does he genuinely believe that he, uh, he is his own brother? Perhaps he is misled by an ill-conceived sense of moral obligation. Aglaia Lilich is the last oasis of reason amidst this madness. I should tell her about Georgi's request. Or maybe... 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 Just maybe... He eats his brother. Maybe. I don't know. But at least we'll be sure. There are so many crows in the sky. What is your initial opinion on the blueprints? Uh, my initial opinion is that of amazement. As far as I understand, such a structure simply cannot hold. All of this could only work if this chamber was floating in a weightless state. Those charts are nothing but an intellectual fancy, a mind game, like Perpetuum Mobile. He just said the exact same thing. So how does it all stay in balance? Especially with a thousand children inside. I don't understand. Uh. Hmm. I was hoping you would explain that to me. I'm dead tired. Hang on. What? The base of the stairs is extremely strong and the materials are remarkably light. That is the townsfolk's explanation. Listen, I need to study this some more. Come to me next morning. I feel that we are on the right path. This is where the cash is. Metaphysics aside, there has to be some practical explanation of practical reason for its existence, wouldn't you agree? If you're talking about the disease, then I'll have you know that the tower is clean. I confirm that there's no infection. Of course, of course. I'm sure it is. That's the first thing I checked out as well. It's squeaky clean. We have little time. Block says that the soldiers are getting restless. The sand plague has reached the encampment. The troops are about to riot. Hopefully he'll be able to keep them in check for a day or two. Won't he? That's all the time we need. And what if he's not? Have you already been told about the canes? Dead God. These days I'm told about nothing but the canes. Or oh, do you mean something really special? I have extremely valuable information. Where do you imagine Simon Kane currently is? Partly in heaven, partly in the ground, I suppose. Why? You have reason to believe otherwise. Hmm. Should I tell her about my suspicions? Whatever. Seems to me that Simon is alive. I don't believe that. Out of the question. I don't even want to hear about it. Don't make me disappointed, I beg of you. Do I need to draw your own conclusions? That's so. Well, that changes everything. I will of course draw my own conclusions. In fact, I am doing so right now. The information is indeed extremely valuable. I will even allow myself to appraise their precise price tag. However, it wouldn't be very nice for two crafty people like us to outwit each other. Wouldn't you agree? I have my own opinion. Now I'm entitled to it with your kind permission. Oh. Shouldn't have put my trust in Aglaia. Contrary to what I expected, this conversation with her did not set me at ease. In her eyes, I caught a glimpse of the strange flame that was illuminating Victor's gaze as he spoke. Did someone say they were related? I think I'm going insane as well. All right, what if I, t I told her the other way? Oh. Um, hang on. She knows that Kyogi Kane has gone insane. He believes himself to be Simon. He will possibly die soon. Victor too. It's the same? Oh no, that's odd.
А вот. Oh, this is so confusing. Seems like the closer I come to the truth, the less idea I have of what the, what is even going on at all. Whatever. Let's go to the bone steak lot. Chimeray. Chimeray. I didn't notice that. These both have Chimeray at the start. What? What does that mean? I mean, I know what that means, but... but I know what the word means. It's a plural of Chimera. But... Oh, great. More of these are swipes. They gotta start attacking me for no reason. Oh. Hi. What are you guys doing? Over here. Listen, people. Hearken to the heaven sign. For this is a parable. Listen to my explication, fair people. This is a civil sign for us to know who is to blame for all our woes, for all our suffering. We have to shout, have mercy on our ears. People, gather around, or better yet, call for your neighbors and relatives and nearest and dearest, for the meaning behind this is as follows. The Cain's Tower is killing our town. The bull here represents the town, and the sharp stake, this shameful stake, is a symbol of the Cain's vile creation, their obscene philosophizing. <laughs> Last time I'm warning you. Wipe them out, the monsters. Simon with a monster, for his sins had brought this pestilence upon us. And Maria, his granddaughter, would soon reach the stars and apply us to her will with her magics, just as her mother Nina used to in days past. She must be killed, torn apart, and thrown for the people's relish. That's it. I'm shutting you up in the most reliable matter known to men. What a monster. Still alive, no doubt. Albeit it may shortly be this last. No one of these simple minds gets so agitated. They see this as a symbol, a message. The worms look shifty, however. I have a feeling this celestial re revelation was set up by a human being and meant to serve a mundane purpose. I wonder what Mark Immortel has to say about it. Yeah. Let's see, just... No? Darn. <laughs> Alright then. Bloody superstitious nonsense. And yes, weird magical stuff probably does exist here, but that makes superstition of less utility, not more. And far more dangerous. Alright, go back to Mark. All right, Mark, I've been to the bones to take lot. Even the wisest of men may- I've been to the lot. Did you see it? Was it impressive? No, the set is too poor. Although the beast is real, I've checked. Hmm. First of all, I have to confess that it is not my handiwork. On the contrary, it's a direct attack on my interests. It never even occurred to me that this could make an impression on you, let alone a positive one. But I wanted you to see how impressed the mob is. I'm afraid you're right. What? Right about what? Oh, oh, okay. There are several people there. Each of them so noisy you could take them for a dozen. Well, yes. You see, the place and the representation are tailored to excite the crowd. It seems like someone wants to gather a mob. And those who gather mobs only do it with a single purpose. They set, uh, seek to set them on someone. So who is the target? Hmm. Well, the Canes, obviously. Actually, I don't care in the slightest. But you should. You are now at a time point when you cannot afford to not care. You've only got a day and a half left. I want that thing to end because I don't like this style. What about you? Well... I do indeed care. It's dangerous. But how can they be removed from there? The army seems to be the most convenient means to any end these days. 
Indeed, a truly smart decision, and kind of elegant, too. It's a professional prejudice of mine. I've never viewed an armed crowd as a tool. I, the master of manipulation. You can simply say it's a sanitary hazard, and it will be burned. Though I'm afraid that won't be the end of it. We'll see. Alright, wait, hang on a second. I, I'd rather like to know who, arranged, who had arranged it. Why are you asking me? I wonder. Which irredeemable blockhead has gotten it into their blocky head to arrange the performance? Are you... Are you implying that it's the... The military guy that... Something... Wasn't his name something block? I don't know. I don't know. I only know that it resembles a bulldog the way a recently strangled cat on a festive table. The owner's beloved cat, I might add. Who do you think fits the description best? Oh, please. Do you still view me in my former quality? No, I am no longer a mime show interpreter. That's too good for me. I voluntarily, you hear that? Voluntarily! Renounce the laurels of a destiny maker. Except maybe a bit for fun, eh? Who is the target then? Actually, I don't care in the slightest. But you should. You are now at a time po point when you cannot afford to not care. You've only got a day and a half left. I want the thing to end because I don't like their style. What about you? Do indeed care. It's dangerous. But how can they be removed from there? Well, the army seems to be the most convenient means to any end these days. Indeed. A truly smart decision. And kind of elegant, too. It's a professional prejudice of mine. I've never viewed a, an armed crowd as a tool. I, the master of manipulation. You can simply say it's a sanitary hazard, and it will be burned. Although I'm afraid that won't be the end of it. We'll see. Yes. It seems that someone is planning to use this as a decoy to cover up their own escape and to lay a blow on the canes whom they must be in some ideological conflict with. That This is when the soldiers come into play. This entire crowd should be burned down. The sooner the better. Alrighty then. Hmm. I mean, Katarina is the obvious suspect, considering how determined she was to give me after the canes, but she could also just be another tool. Well, she's certainly a tool, but I mean, but you know what I mean. It's a little bit weird to me that that tab is called drugs, even though it includes bandages, bandages and tourniquets and stuff. Yeah. The Inquisitor and I haven't held counsel even though it's against the rules. I place my trust in the doctors. Say, Commander, can I come to you in a case of an emergency? I sincerely hope you can. I have to admit, I'm furious. The directive I received from the top brass gave me very broad authority and the right to make strategic decisions. It made no mention of an Inquisitor. And now this. What? That is still unresolved. For many years now, it has been an unspoken rule for military command to obey the decisions of an Inquisitor. The justification was that an Inquisitor would find a way to make, the soldier, make a soldier obey their will anyway, whether the latter knows it or not. Mm. There, until recently, military men have a little room for illusions concerning them. What is the scope of your duties? I am responsible for ensuring that the epidemic never spreads from, he from here further. I am also responsible for the lives of my men. That is what I know for a fact. Hmm. Your flamethrower cores, uh, cores are burning out everything infected, whether it moves or not. Is that within the scope of their jurisdiction? Absolutely. Many interesting things for them to see on the bone steak lot. I'd head them in, I'd lead them in that particular direction if I were you. Hmm. Here's what I'll do. I'll notify Longin. He is a stalwart officer, a heart burning with passion. He's in command of the Flamedora Corps. He was assigned to my unit right before this whole affair, so let him perform his duty. As for me, spare me any further details. Very well, now I can be at ease. Well, not really, but close enough. The dying bull was destroyed by the soldiers, so there will be no right. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Alright, that's that then. Uh, that's, that's it. all I have for today. I've already checked to make sure ever, no one's infected, and I have no more letters or requests. 
Maybe I can go take a nap now. There we go. Nothing? Alright, I guess that's all for today then. Alright. I assume we're not missing something. God. Okay. That, that's, that makes the end of day 10 then. Apparently just a day... Well, he said like a day and a half left, but he might have been counting half of this day, so... Yeah. It'll, uh, so yeah, it seems like it'll all end on day 12, or maybe day t or maybe at the start of day 12 or something. Something like that. So we are very much in the end game now. I'll, uh... Yeah. I'll, uh, take a break and then I'll... Start going around in looting places and I'll... And I'll come back... Once, uh, once something is happening. Next time. I have been... Yeah. But until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long, suckers.